we get a lot of questions at Fox. How does the internal bypass shock work? You know, it's it's that magic science that everybody thinks is like, how do you get such a good ride and still have good bottom resistance? The nice thing about internal bypass shocks are the comfort and the confidence you get when you're driving a vehicle. And how that works is pretty interesting, you know? I'm gonna show you here a little bit on this inner body that we've made these bypass zones in, how the oil bypasses the main piston. The main piston will go up and down the center of the inner body that's inside of the shock absorber. The cool thing about the internal bypass is, is as it's coming down through its stroke into the ride zone is what I call this, oil is bypassing the main piston, giving you a more comfortable ride because it's less resistance right here than it is at the bottom of the shock. And then as you keep go deeper in the stroke or bigger the bump, the shock keeps on compressing. As they're going past the ride zone, the main piston now is going into the solid part of the body. There's no more bypass. There's no more hold, holes or oil bleeding past the main piston. When we're getting to the bottom out zone of the shock absorber, the oil now has to go through the main piston of the shock itself. So again, that's what gives you bottom out control because there's no bleed past the main piston. It's a solid body and it gives you good bottoming control. Again, that's how the bypass is working. It's bypassing oil past the main piston. Then once you get past that into the main body of the shock, you're working on the main piston, it gives you good bottom resistance.